Hi everybody, it's Amir from Go On Berlin and today we are in the most beautiful square in Berlin in my opinion, Vision Daumen Markt. I am certain I'm not the only person who thinks Gendarmenmark is the most beautiful place in Berlin, but at first glance the square doesn't look somewhat special. Many classic European squares look somewhat similar, with the same Renaissance architecture that try to mimic ancient Rome. But consider the extreme destruction the city has gone through during World War II, it is actually quite rare to find such a remnant in the city center. But that's not to say artillery and air raids didn't damage Gendarmenmarkt. The beautiful buildings here almost collapsed after World War II, but an amazing restoration work made it possible for us to enjoy the place like in old times. The square got its name after a battalion of gendarmes that was stationed nearby here in the 18th century. The French church was built here for the Huguenots community that escaped Louis XIV in France and found refuge here in Berlin during the 17th century. And today it is a museum of the Huguenots history. The German church on the other side of the square was designed to look similar to the French one, to make the square symmetric. This church belongs to the Lutheran community and today it is a museum of German history. The beautiful Concert House Berlin in the middle of the square is the most recent building here. It was built by the famous Prussian architect Karl Friedrich Schinkel in 1821. Today it is home of the Concert House Orchestra of Berlin. Just nearby Gendarmenmark, Bebelplatz is also a stunning looking square. With the pink building of the State Opera, the St. Hedwig's Cathedral, and the Humboldt University. Beverplatz is also a very important historical square. Here in May the 10th, 1933, a group of students and professors burned 20,000 books as part of a Nazi campaign to purify the German culture as they saw it. The books were those written by Jewish, pacifist, socialist and communist authors among others. Some of the most famous names are Karl Marx, Thomas Mann and Heinrich Heine who wrote in his play El Mansur the famous sentence that was but a prelude. Where they burn books, they will ultimately burn people as well. It is chilling to grab the fact that this is actually what happened here in the end. A memorial by Israeli artist Micha Ullman is here. Behind the reflection of you on the sky, you can see the empty bookshelves of the library. There is a place here for 20,000 books, the same number of books burned by the Nazis in 1933. Behind Bebelplatz, the Friedrichswerder church is an historically important church that was built by Karl Friedrich Schinkel. Today it is permanently closed due to structural damage from nearby building activity. Next to it, the Bauakademie was also a building by Karl Schinkel, but this one was completely destroyed in World War II. That was a place where master builders came to learn about the fine art of architecture while ignoring the technical aspects of construction itself. Today it is an alternative cultural center, and in some weekends you can walk between the ruins of the Bau Academy until you find yourself surrounded by young people dancing to classical Berliner music. Heavy techno, of course. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to know more, you're welcome to visit our website at goonberlin.com. We upload a video every week, so please write in the comments below what interests you about Berlin and maybe we'll make a video about it. Cheers!